Hello and welcome once again to Paul Place TAS 100. Now, where are we? We are Secret Sorter. Yeah, that was hard. And now Stored Image Decoder. Let's have a look. So this is the last of the puzzles in the main game of TIS or TIS 100. There is an expansion pack which has made up a sort of community puzzles they pulled together, which is also in the game and then there are a few achievements and we could look at low scores or high scores or whatever um, after this but this, this is the last one of the main one and then I need to make a decision on how many more videos I really want to get out of this because I mean it is a fairly niche game I mean the number of people who are sad enough like me to enjoy it um, must be quite small but fair play to Zactronics for making it I've really enjoyed it so Read a length value from in, read a color value from in. So these are so 36 twos, 26 twos, like that. Draw a line of that length and color, like that. Wrapping when the edge of the image is reached. Okay. So after the last one, maybe I was expecting a bit more from this one. But, you know, it doesn't, you know, obviously to get an optimal solution for these or to get a very clever solution, would be quite tricky but this one does not look tricky at all so what i'm going to do here is i am going to imagine that the guy above me is firing an infinite string of colors in so all the guy above me is going to be doing is sending me two 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 and it'll send me 36 of them and then it'll send me um 34 three so i'm just going to get a, a, a constant stream in from up here of numbers which represent the colors I should be drawing and leave it to this box to figure out where they need to be going. So, move zero down. Every row that I start is gonna start in X zero. Move right down. So I'm gonna get the Y value from here and all that's gonna do is move accumulator left and add one. So the first time it'll give it a zero, then it'll give it a one, etc., etc. Uh, move 30 to the accumulator. Loop. Move up, down. Sub one. Jump a not zero to loop. And if I get a, if I don't get a zero, okay. Um, jump a not zero to one. And if I do get a zero, I have to finish the string with a minus one down. And then go back to the start and get it in again. So all this box has to do is move up right, uh, move left, down. All this box has to do is convert 36.2 into the number 2 36 times, which cannot be too hard. Move up into the accumulator. Ooh, my dogs. They don't like something. Anyway. Um move up they never normally outside like that they're very much indoor poodles well they're not poodles they're spaniels but you know what i mean right uh move up to the accumulator um save it move up to the accumulator now then i want to loop move Accumulate it down. I then want to do a swap. Sub one. Jumper not zero to loop. Right. So it's basically going to take this number and kind of where do I need the swaps and the saves in this? At the end of this loop, it's obviously got to be on the counting number, not the color number. So when it comes in initially if i'm going to move accumulated down i'm going to have to do a swap there aren't i and also it comes in this is the count this is the color so i'm going to have to do another swap there right let's have a look at that and there we go yep that's looking good so um i'm going to hit Yep, it switched colors. So it's very, very simple. I mean, this guy is just 
printing out ones and it's doing you know what what i mean i did back in the day back now this would be years ago this would be sort of commodore 64 or very early 8086 time work on a editor um and this is just the sort of carriage return line feed type thing here no problems yeah it's uh Uh, I have I have no idea what that was. There's obviously, some sort of uh, graphically uh, primitive picture. So that is it. Um, we then have this. When it's finished that reminds me very much of people in the uk and europe will remember the spectrum which used to load its uh, code from a sort of standard tape deck not like those posh commodore 64 and vic 20s which had their own proper tape decks and these ones used to squawk as they were loading very nice right so so again this this i believe is made from it's kind of fan made they've pulled it from the community um, so there may be there may be some fun puzzles in there. There may not. I'm not sure, but TIS 100 is done. So I think that's probably it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do if in terms of uh, more videos. I would probably like to at least do the achievements sort of on video and see if there's any uh, see what that's like. Um, whether I want to do an episode for every TIS directory one, I don't know. It's hard to know how to do it otherwise, you know, otherwise I've got to sort of, you know, go through them and see if I find an interesting one and say, okay, I'll record a video on this one. Maybe that's the, the way to do it. Or maybe, you know, other people have an idea on what they'd like to see or what they wouldn't like to see. Um, so maybe bung a comment in, bung a like on, whatever. So thank you for watching this video. And if you've watched them all, thank you very much for watching them all. And if you subscribed, thanks again. Um, thanks for supporting. Um, it's been a new experience for me recording these videos for YouTube. So uh, thanks for those who have supported and liked and commented and and everything else. So without further ado, that's all from me for TIS 100 for the time being. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.